Bar, ask Reddit, asks, other than an improperly rolled burrito falling apart while you're eating it, what is a minor misfortune that disproportionately infuriates you? Those bags that certain foods come in where you have to tear off a strip which doesn't come off straight. Then when you try to close it with a Ziploc it won't seal. Or if you tear at the notch it's actually sealed below that point and you have to get the scissors and cut lower. Happens to me with cat food bags all the time. Or it pulls the Ziploc with it. So all you're left with is a non-resealable. Resealable bag. When my pen rolls off and then under my desk. Forcing me to either scrape blindly with my foot or get down on all fours and scrabble under the furniture like a goblin. I have a back scratcher with a claw hand next to my desk. Its second job is to retrieve items from under my desk. Like a goblin LMAO. Smoke detector batteries only go dead in the middle of the night while you're peacefully sleeping. We have no respect for how tall a 12-foot ceiling is until it's 430M and your fire alarm is chirping every 45 seconds. You're driving down a road. There is nobody behind you. At an intersection there is a car waiting to pull out. Does he pull out when you're 500 feet away? No. 250 feet? No. 100 feet? He goes for it. Pulling out in front of you. Going slowly and forcing you to brake despite the fact that had they just waited another second. They could have pulled out after you and had all the time in the world to get up to speed. Edit. Wow. This really took off. 100% happens weekly. If not daily. To me. This is what the purge is based off of. Driving behind a slow poke and just missing the green light but they managed to make it before the red. Only thing more infuriating that the guy in front of you driving like he's being paid by the hour is the guy behind you driving like he's being paid by the mile. Fucking irate when this happens right after they pull out in front of you when they shouldn't causing you to slow down. When my backpack slowly starts pulling my shirt up my back and I constantly have to do the stop jump pull shirt adjustment. It's even worse when you're wearing a dress because without adjustment the whole world is gonna see your underwear. This stopped happening to me when I tightened the straps so the backpack rested higher up on my back. If that helps. I've never related to a comment so much in my life. When my Bluetooth speaker fails to connect automatically to my phone. Forcing me to open the Bluetooth menu and go through that whole process. Edit. Thank you all for making this my most highly upvoted comment instead of my previous which was Bill Cosby. Yeah that sucks but what about when it does connect but the sound still comes out of the phone. Now I got to disconnect. Close the app. Reconnect. Reopen the app. It's exhausting. Dot. Or when you rent a car and it refuses to pair your phone if the car is in motion. Even though you're the motherfucking passenger unamused face. Stepping in unknown wetness while wearing socks. Even if it's known wetness it's still infuriating. 25 years ago, we had dogs that would eat ice if you dropped it. 15 years ago, we no longer had those dogs. But to this day, my dad will still drop ice on the floor and not pick it up. So you'll come to get a glass of iced tea in your socks and you'll step in a puddle that shouldn't fucking be there because those dogs died over a decade ago. I had a roommate who got a dog that would drink its water by filling its mouth, then carrying it a foot away and dropping 90% of it onto the floor. Added bonus, my roommate never cleaned it up. Unexpected item in bagging area. Come on, son, if the human AI war ever happens, self-service tills will be first against the firewall. Unexpected item in bagging area. Pick up item to figure out what's wrong, return item to bag and scan next item. Put item back in bag, unexpected item in bagging area. Single quote dot. When I try to get out of my car, but my purse strap has found its way onto my air brake handle and jerks me back in. Got my ankle stuck in my purse strap and took a header coming out of the car. Still not sure how I manage it. And then you become that loon cursing at their purse getting out of their car. Yup being there. When I don't hold the toilet handle down long enough, so it doesn't flush properly, and I have to wait for the tank to refill before I can even try to flush it again. 
That shit is so fucking annoying. You shouldn't have to hold the handle down at all. Sounds like it needs a new flapper that stays up longer. Quite specific to me but we have these spill-proof cups in our new office. We aren't allowed to use open mugs because it's all shiny and new. I swear. In the four months I've been here. These spill-proof mugs have leaked, dripped, and just flat out spilled more than an entire lifetime of regular mugs. I needed to get that off my chest. It's a real thing in our office ATM. Anyone who has had to use those new, safe gas cans can relate to that. They're supposed to be spill-proof. Which would be good since spilled gas is bad all around. But all they really do is make pouring harder. I spill a lot more gas thanks to those things than I did with old ones. That moment when you eat something and realize it's too hot and have to awkwardly find a way to position it inside your mouth that doesn't burn. I always make this weird little huffing noise to push loads of air through it. I look like a twat, but it works a charm. This but on a first date. HOF 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 HOF. When you walk past a door with headphones in and the door handle rips them out of your ear. On that note, I can't deal with having my earphones cord stuck somewhere on my button shirt and no matter how much I pull or push it always, always, gets stuck on that spot and keeps pushing on one of my ears. I just saw red. Belt loops have also been known to be jerks around door handles. Dot. Aluminum foil tearing unevenly, or tearing as I'm trying to place it properly for cooking. Similarly, plastic wrap stretching when I want it to tear. In my 40s, and I have not mastered this skill. WTF is wrong with me. And then the plastic sticks all to itself after it tears. Forgetting to transfer the clothes from the washer to the dryer. Semi-related, when that one shirt on the bottom of the washer underneath 80 pounds of wet clothes somehow managed to get a sleeve tangled around all the clothes on top of the washer and you can't transfer anything until you solve this Gordian knot puzzle. That's the worst. I live in western New York and the machines are in the basement which is not heated. If I forget overnight my fucking clothes freeze together. Whoops. Thanks for reminding me. Putting a fitted sheet on bed and having one edge come off while trying to put on another edge. Or having a mattress pad that makes it so not one single sheet you own fits well and they all come half off the bed every single goddamn night. Or you have a husband that inexplicably manages to shift the fitted sheet to his side of the bed every single time he touches the bed no matter what somehow so every time you go to get in or out of bed or side pops off and you lose your mind. When you're walking and your sock slips down into your shoe and bunches up under your foot. This is literally the worst. Especially if it happens every few feet. On the outside I may seem okay, but deep down inside, my sock is falling off. Or that random pee of gravel that you step on. But not every time and just kind of comes and goes until you have to pull off your shoe. Throwing something in the trash and juiced missing it. You have to bend down to get it and throw it again. While thinking of the shame you bestow upon yourself. After I wipe down equipment at the gym, I usually ball up the damp paper towel and shoot it into the trash. 80% of the time, I just miss the trash can. Then I have to shamefully walk over there to pick it up while I look around for whoever saw me miss. And then angrily throwing it again from an inch away and still missing the can. Incorrect password, retypes password, incorrect password, retypes password slowly and precisely and double checks username, incorrect password, angrily retypes password one letter at a time making sure to forcefully press each key while muttering obscenities under your breath, incorrect password fuck it. I will just reset the password. New password can not be the same as previous password god fucking damn it. When you're putting in an earring, especially studs or posts, and the post gets halfway in and then you can't find the exit hole. So you're stuck there, with an earring half in, feeling around trying to find the way out. It should be a straight line. This shouldn't be difficult, but there you are. Also, when you're putting in contacts and it flops over onto your finger so you have to stop and reset it before trying again. 
Even more frustrating when putting on a contact is when it falls off your finger into the sink when you're squirting it with solution. And then you have to ask yourself if you even want to wear that contact again. People that pull out in the left lane in front of me and then go slower than I was going. Even worse is that asshole who passes you, then sets his cruise control at 2 miles per hour slower than you are going. He said, mine of misfortune. One that comes to mind is a recent event. My buddy remodeled his kitchen, made his own wood countertops and had them perfectly polyurethaned. He was just waiting for them to dry when a fly landed in the center. He was able to pick out the fly, but it screwed up the finish and he couldn't get the legs out. Perfect, beautiful countertop with half a fly stuck in the center. I'd actually have to do that again. It would keep me awake. Holy shit I would be absolutely livid. Trying to make another step on the stairs just to find out there is no more. Either walking up or down the stairs equally horrible. Or finding out there is more. Ah yes the Hulk stomp when you think there is one more step to go. Ah, the dreaded ghost step. I get irrationally mad at inanimate objects for doing things that are totally my fault. For example, the flower blowing everywhere because I decided to try to bake next to a fan. The drink for spilling after I set it on the couch cushion. I apologize to inanimate objects for doing things that are totally my fault. You're an inanimate fucking object. Taking a slice of pizza too soon and all the cheese sliding off. Or taking a bite too early, burning your mouth, and not being able to taste the rest of the pizza. I hate it when you take a bite of pizza but the cheese doesn't break off so you're forced to eat all the cheese in the pizza in one bite. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you incredible people.